Dividing three digit by one digit numbers when we have remainders means we sometimes think about where we can start off. Imagine 635 divided by four. That's like sharing into four buckets so that each bucket gets the same amount and we may have some left over. So imagine our 600. If they were six $100 notes, we couldn't share all six out, but we could give each bucket one of them. So 600, we're actually going to share 400. So we're going to break 635 into chunks. Our first chunk is 400 divided by 4 equals 100. We've used up 400, but we've still got 235 to share. Well, how can we share 235? What about if we think of 235 and perhaps look at the number 200? and think about that. So let's make another chunk of 200. 200 divided by 4, well the reason I chose 200 is because 200 is 20 tens and I can work out 20 divided by 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5, so 20 tens or 200 divided by 4 equals 5 tens. So we can rename that now back to 50. So we use some renaming there to help at that step. Let's see how much we've still got to share. We've shared 400 and then we shared another 200. So we have 35 left to share. Now I'm going to think about my four times tables. I can't share 10 because that would be 40. Four nines are 36. Four eights are 32. So if I work backwards from 40, I realize that four eights are 32 and therefore 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So even though I can't share all of 35, I can share 32 among 4 and they get 8 each. So you can see our little bucket now. They've got 100 plus 50 plus 8 each. On the little box on the right, you can see how much I've given out so far. 35, well we just shared 32 of that. We've got three left over and we're not going to be able to share that because we've got four buckets. So we've shared our number. Our, sum, our number 635 was made up of different chunks, 400 plus 200 plus 32, and each of those chunks were shared among four, and then we had our three remainder. So we've just broken our number up into smaller parts. And when we divided by four, we, we worked out that we had 100, plus 50 plus 8 plus our 3 remainder. So 635 divided by 4 equals 158 and 3 remainder. What do you know that might help you with this problem? And when we're working out these, we're thinking about things we may know. Maybe we can rename or break our numbers into chunks. In this one, I'm going to break my number down because I can see the number 40. 40 or 400 is the same as 40 tens. So that's the piece of information I'm going to use this time. I'm going to rename 400, the first chunk, as 40 tens. 40 tens divided by 8. Well, I know that 40 divided by 8 equals 5. So 40 tens divided by 8 equals 5 tens. So let's rename that now as 400 divided by 8 equals 50. Now my original number was 403 and I've shared 400 plus I've got 3 which I can't share among 8. I can't divide 3 into 8. So 403 equals divided by 8 equals 50 and 3 remainder. So we're looking for ways we can break our number down until we can't share anymore.